Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's your host Cyber Gaming Studios. In today's episode of the No Clipping series, we're going to be doing Shangri-La by request by Frostbite. Um, it was like the only comment. Um, was uh, Shangri-La. So we're going to be doing No Clipping Shangri-La. And this is actually in Black Ops 3. So if you guys don't know and you just tune into my new series, then you're pretty much... Um, we pretty much in for in for a treat. So we're, right now we're in spawn. Right now, we are, me, me and my other friend we're we're in this lobby. But um, look at this monkey. Looks pretty cool. But um, we're gonna we're gonna be exploring Shangri-La. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is this temple right here. So the temple is usually is not down yet until you actually do some other kind of step to to release water that goes into these pillars and things. And that's instantly how you get this to be opened. So we're going to look up here, and up here is Pack-A-Punch. Believe it or not, Pack-A-Punch looks really, really cool up here, but it looks confusing, and it's hit you. So if you go, I think if we go up here, oh, yep, we broke immersion. So if we go up here, we can actually see that there should be a rock. There should be a rock somewhere around here. Um, I think they actually, yeah, they kept actually the immersion that they did on the original of, uh, original of, um, Shangri-La, so... Um, there is no, like, part you can see here, but I think if we go, I don't know if we can go down. I don't know, I'm not, full, I'm not fully sure. Um, I think there's, under here, there's a, uh, I don't know if this, you can go on here, I'm not fully sure. Um, <laughs> no, okay, the case you can't. I don't know if this is part of the crypt, or the, or the rock, okay, so, I guess we're down here. This is this looks really cool, guys. So uh, we're gonna get out of here for a moment. Look how everything they built everything with immersion, but it's all good. It's all fun. Um, so we're going back in. We're going back in here, and then basically nothing's up in here, uh, really. Um, I don't know exactly exactly where the little part is where you find the little rock, um, but um, but it's really cool, and nonetheless. Everything's like breaking immersion. Like this is really, really cool, guys. This is really so cool. So I don't know exactly where they have the rock here, cause I wanted to see the rock. That's that was my main goal. See that rock there. Oh, here it is. We found it, guys. Why can't I go in there? So we're in here, and the rock is actually sitting right here. Yep. The rock is sitting right here, and you can see that in actual version of uh, Shangri-La, it's actually, I think it's red. And they changed it to blue for some reason. I can't get close to what I can. So, I, so that's why it looks like it. it's right behind Pack-a-Punch, guys. Right behind Pack-a-Punch. So the, actually, the big rock does hover over to this building when you do the Easter egg. So, yeah, and the Eclipse mode looks like that. I don't I don't have a mod to uh, to do the Easter egg so long. If I, if I did, it would be cool. But, um, other than that, <sighs> Okay, um... So what else? We explored the temple. There's nothing much except the rock was really, really neat there. Um, we can actually explore. We're gonna exploring over here. What's in here? This is, I think, believe it's a mob spawner. Yeah, it's a mob spawner. Looks really, really nice. Um, and behind here is just more mob spawners. It's just more mob spawners. Everything looks really cool in here. So Shangri-La looks really cool. If you actually come over here, there is below a remastered version of the immersion. And it's, all it is is it's just forest. And then there's like the the mountains. I think that mountains looks way better. I think they I think they still have broken immersion for this. Yeah, they yeah they did. Yeah, they did. The the difference is that they actually extended it a little bit further from here from there, so I think that the, that's the most opportunity. But we're not gonna go too far because I don't wanna I don't wanna go too 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 far, guys. But we're gonna look under the map as we did with the first one, and and hopefully that hopefully they have something really really cool under on, on in this map so to for us to see. So um, Shangri La looks really, really beautiful. It's remastered way better than than la last gen because last gen was the graphics that were terrible. Um, we go into this building. I don't know what this building is. I think this is another mouse spawner. I'm not fully sure, or is this just for decor? Um, I think this is just more for decor than just than just a mouse spawner. So I don't really think that this building is used for anything. Just for decor. 
I think it is. I, it probably is. It's probably used for an Easter egg or something because of this door. I'm not fully sh quite sure. No, I don't think so because like I, you can't get past there, so I don't think you can at all. So either way, it's just a a broken uh, bridge. So yeah. So all oh, this is just mob spawners over here, and looks really cool, guys. Um, under the bridge, there's water. There's uh, there's actually mule kick. Um, under here is just no actually no waterfall, which I'm surprised that there isn't. Just looks like it. Um, uh, we can't go in. We can't go in here yet. Um, it's because uh, I wonder if it's, if it's because of uh, immersion. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's just skip all this till we have all the doors open. So we're we're just gonna we're gonna put it like that because I want to have the able to go into the, into into the facility and see what's up with the boss punch and stuff to see if there's anything new in Tranquilla. Anything new? Let's see. I I think this is pretty pretty cool. Is I mean it 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 doesn't out be of the way how you can just go out the map and just instantly just walk around, but it does be the way of how you can look what's outside the map. Um, we have. Trees in here mostly. It's mostly just it's just trees. Nothing any cool, anything new or anything like that. There's what is this place? Is this is this a part of it or is this a mob spawner? Yeah, this is a mob spawner. But other than that, nothing's here. It just breaks immersion and it just keeps going down. Like if I put like, I think if I I should put lighter mode. Like nothing's here really. It just breaks immersion. So yeah, we're, we're gonna go back. We are gonna go back. So and here's that really nothing. It's just a black descent. Just like just a black thing. So yeah. So we're gonna, how do we, how did I get in here in the first place? <laughs> I am I am stuck. All right. Um. I think I got from the top. I'm not fully sure. Ah, oh, look at this guy. Um, I think I got stuck, guys. <laughs> wow. I think when I came in here, I came in at a certain angle, I think. Yeah, we're going to go and switch to, uh, Basic, and then we're gonna, we're gonna go back to free 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 camera because I got stuck in there and I didn't feel like to uh, go all the way around. You never know. <sighs> all right, so we got this area. I gotta go all. I think I gotta go all the way up this over the barriers. Um. So over here we got more mob spawners. I would love to walk over here. I would just love doing that, but unfortunately there isn't. So, so yeah. So over here is just background. There's nothing really behind this. This is more just wallpaper than just. It, it looks. It's like two D dimensional. This is just a safe memory, majority of the time. But um, they do look realistic though from from a distance. So that's pretty cool. What is this? Is this a mob spawner or something? I think this is what's supposed to be some part of a mob spawner or something like that. I'm not fully sure. <laughs> but it looks really cool though. It looks really cool. So everything that's out here is just majority of it is just like grass and stuff. Um, but um that's pretty much it. That's pretty that's pretty much it. But it looks really cool when you go into these little buildings and you see what's in there. Um What's in here? This is like this is a mouse spawn. We saw the little zombies trying to trying to get, trying to rape us and stuff like that. <laughs> they try to go, they try to give me your brains. But um, I don't know. Everything's really really cool. Everything looks really, really, really nice. Okay, so we're gonna get out of this area because we're gonna explore this area majority of, of it, and we're gonna need to check. I think we should be checking. We're gonna be checking inside the the uh, the canals. 
another canal, but the caves, and we're gonna see what's up with that. So we can instantly get an inside view of what they look like in the inside. So we're gonna go in here, in here. So we've already been into this room. So this room isn't really important to me because I got stuck in that room. But as you can see, everything looks cool in here. I can't, as I say, I can't go into here until I, if I, was, I break immersion. And that's something I can't. I, I've been in here in this room before. And you guys saw it earlier. earlier. But um, this room is just nothing in here. So yeah, so everything looks really cool, guys. I I I got to say that give things we could thanks to Triarch. They did a really good thing on this, this, this map. What's this? Can you get out of here? Or no? Okay, so under here, usually people would want to see what's under here. There's mostly just one one five. <laughs> There's one one five rocks and stuff. And that's really cool. And then beyond this is nothing, it's just immersion. Or the water is that and it just goes. I can't really I'm not gonna really play anything because I'm not gonna play the the film like I did. It's reasons why is because if I do then I know you're likely in this game we actually died. We both died and, and then the the film will be over. And then I would have to really do all this video again. So I don't have no idea what the heck I am now, but it's all good. So we're going to look under the map. Um, look at these rods. These rods, I just noticed. These are, are the rods. These are the rods that have the little machines that you can see here in the, in, in the caves. And there really is nothing really special about them. They, they, they don't lead anywhere. And then they have like, there's like these, um, these boards. I think they've been torn off. Um... I don't know if there's any teleporter boxes around here. I, I want to see teleporter boxes. I don't know if they actually see. Oh, there we are. Here's our, here they are. Here's these guys I wanted to see. Okay, we broke immersion. Okay, so these teleport boxes are teleporter boxes. If you don't know what teleporter boxes is, is that basically that um, every time you use a teleporter within a game or within a map that has, that has a touch um, somewhat of a type of teleporter, um, it can be used through Easter eggs or things. Usually you can use this for two purposes, items and and people. So whenever an item is tra usually moved from one place to another and then because of the map can't either do it on its own, it uses these box triggers that it put it into this box and then transfer it to into the map. Just like almost like a teleporter. This also works the same way when you exactly when you're when you're when you're uh, when you're teleporting, such as if you're choosing Kingdom of Totem or the Giant, or uh, I forgot the other map. There was one more. There was another map that had this. Um, but um, it would transfer you into these boxes where it has a little swirly, and then transfer you to another location of the map. Um, I don't know. I can't. I don't think I can break these. Or like not break them, but go into these. I'm gonna try. Try, but you can't really go into them. And I don't know what this wall. There was a wall here that I, I think there was either supposed to be for a bridge or something like that. But I'm not sure. I, I was like, I don't say I don't. I haven't seen a teleporter onto this map. But I don't know if this is probably used. It's probably used for for different purposes. But other than, if not, then this is just probably assets that haven't been used and we're going to be able to use even if they'll new jump because even if they did, they would have to put something in the map for for something for it to use. And I don't think that Treyarch would have done that to, to ruin the map. Um, so yeah, so there's nothing really beyond of what that looks like. So, but um, it does look really cool under, under the map. Um, what is this over here? So this area, I don't know what this area is. This area looks like a mob spawner. Doesn't it look like a mob spawner, guys? Yeah, it is a mob spawner. So this is a mob spawner where it looks like it looks like a mob spawner. And this is basically mostly a shared mob spawner. Usually shared mob spawners usually are, are used to save up space within the map. So they can create other other things within the map. This way it allows, allows zombies to just share one single, you know, spawn. Instead of just having multiple spawns. They do have a correct path. Um, set to them, but other than that, it's just really nothing, nothing special. So, um, 
that's yeah that's pretty much it guys i i haven't found anything pretty 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 new actually it's just everything over here is just farm the majority of it and it's just immersion like if i was able to walk in here i'd probably would fall through but everything looks cool guys um i'll probably go all the way up and i will guys see you right then i'll see you guys when um when I um when I have a map view. All right, now we at we're actually at the top of the hitbox. I hit a hitbox on top of here. You can see like everything on top, and I don't know exactly where the heck the sun is. I think the sun's right there, so we're like right next to the sun. Um, but um, this is actually the whole layout of the map. Um, the mountains are over there. They have actually some images and some clouds beyond the hitbox, but other than that, it's just more of a of just pictures and stuff like that to simulate it and then you have some mountain you have the whole entire map you can see here everything else is underground so you can't really see underground but um this is how pretty much you see inside the map um if ever add any more i think they would have just been really really cool but um but that pretty much what what it looks like so so it's pretty cool how this map is rebuilt. I like how this map is rebuilt. It looks beautiful. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> you can see like one of us like right there. Wait, what's that? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's the, that's a grass. I thought that was a. I thought that was some e new Easter egg or something. I don't know. My pleasure. <laughs> So, I, I, I don't know if you guys can look into the Gabaga machine. I don't think you can. Would be cool if you could. What is this? Oh, this is a bird. Oh my god, look how the bird looks like. The bird looks like Wolfenstein 2D. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, I don't know what how this would look like in Eclipse Mode. It would be cool if I had Eclipse Mode enabled. But in this game, we're not, we're, we weren't doing the Easter eggs. So, and we had we needed four players to do it anyways. But it would be nice. So, that's pretty much all I have for today's video, guys. Um, I'll be posting tomorrow another video. Um, if, I, if you haven't checked out my first episode for uh, of Ascension, you guys can check that out. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you want to see in the next um, Zombies map for Black Ops 3. I'll also be doing hopefully multiplayer maps in the end just to just to bring this like no clip series not to an end so quickly and I want to see you guys what you guys want to see next. Um, yeah, I want to hear your guys suggestions. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and if you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe. And as well, don't forget to hit that bell button so you can miss out anything just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.